Hey guys, welcome back to another Talking Tuesday episode. I hope you guys had a good, safe weekend and that uh, um, we're bringing you some good notes for you today and I hope you enjoy them. So, kick the intro. Okay, so my note, it has to do with money. Um, have you ever bought a scratch-off ticket or uh, played the lottery or anything? So, in my house, it wasn't really encouraged or it wasn't like, you know, a big fan thing to, uh, to be buying those things. Um, the couple of times I did buy them, I never got anything back. Okay. Um, but I do know, <laughs> some Christmases, my grandma would actually um, give the adult boys or adult uh, male uh, scratch off tickets as their present. Oh really? Yeah. Just the mail? Yeah, it was really just the mails. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, now my dad would bring us some just to like entertain us. Um, sometimes we'd win like two dollars or you know just double what we paid for and okay. it was just fun like scratching off. We'd mainly play like the bingo one. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's this one man in Michigan and his dad had died and he left him a coin, like he, it was, he meant it as a lucky coin. Okay, his charm. Yeah, lucky charm, whatever. <laughs> um, so he went and he bought a, like a scratch up. Okay. He's like, oh, you know what, like whatever, I'm just gonna try it, my lucky coin. Yeah. And he wins. Damn. He wins $4 million. <laughs> and this was last December. Okay. okay. So he's like, wow, like, you know, it's really lucky, my lucky coin, and you know what? So yeah. what would you do after you would win four million dollars? Like, um, so, <laughs> I mean, right now I'm gonna talk how I think I would do it. But once you have the money, um, you can change greedier or whatnot. Mm -hmm. At this point, I would say you know, pay off house debt. Um, how about the people close to me? A good investment at short and long terms. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So what this man did is. He, you know, he retired. He's like, I'm gonna quit my job. Okay, um, fair. And he started spending more t time with his family. And then it also happened that, you know, with quarantine and everything, so you're you're just spending more time. Yeah. Know? So he's like, I got to enjoy being with my dad before he died. So I'm gonna enjoy it with my kids, you know, take them fishing and everything. So then he goes again, he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna buy another <laughs> scratch off ticket. You know, just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I already won the lottery, why not just, you know, who, why would I lose with another couple yeah. of bucks? So he goes again with his lucky coin, and he wins again! <laughs> Four million dollars! And I'm like... Damn. <laughs> so they, they're naming him probably like the luckiest man right now in Michigan. Yeah. Um, it's just crazy, you know, like... I didn't, he's like, I didn't think I was going to win, but you know, it I, probably is my lucky coin. I, I, I don't know what are the numbers or the odds of you ever winning. The lottery. Um, the lottery. I can only imagine what are the odds winning it twice and not and playing that many. Up. Yeah, and not playing that many times. Like, mm -hmm. You know, it's I don't know. It's, it's pretty crazy to so, yeah. to be that lucky. <laughs> so now he said he was gonna cash it out in like a lump sum. So it's like 2.5 million that they're gonna give him straight out. Okay. Uh, but yeah, he said he's just gonna enjoy it by being more with his family and. Very lucky for him. Yeah, no, good, good for him. Uh, you know, hope it, it it comes in in good hands and enjoy it. I mean, it's, yep. yep. So that's my note. <laughs> uh, I don't. I mean, everybody has a preference if they want to go buy scratch off tickets, but <laughs> you never know when you can win. Yeah, probably not the smartest way. Yeah. But I mean, you might be the luckiest. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. let try. All right. So moving on with my note. Um, so again, it kind of do a bit with politics. Um, normally, things that are done um, <laughs> by my president doesn't fully convince me. Our president um, just signed an executive order um, where hiring positions are going to be based more on skills and not on you know the title or okay. the degree. Now. I wanted to get your input uh, on this one because, in my opinion, it's if it's applied correctly, you know, it's not for favors and it's not, you know, some under the cover things. I think it's a really good 
thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wanted to get your input. What do you, what do you think is going to happen? Like universities, technical schools, um, you know, big uh, accreditation, certifications. So what, do, what do you think is going to be their reaction and how is this going to impact them? Um, for sure, there's going to be. So this is, I think, just federal. Yes. Uh, so yeah. So this is for uh, government jobs only. Yeah. This executive order. Uh, it doesn't apply to private companies. Um, I think it's, it's a good move. Um, okay. Because I mean, personally, that I went through the college career. You know, you come out sometimes of college and you have way less experience than someone that went to a technical school or just right. learned it on their own. Um, so I think. Not having to have the degree is a big plus because not everybody has to go to college. I mean, you don't have to get a degree to make money. Right. Um, so right. I'm all for that. Um, I do think it's going to affect the schools in a way because mm -hmm. you know they're generating income from people going to college and just because they need that certification. Right. Um, but in a way, I'm like. If they're gonna need still people with skills and their degrees, people are still gonna get their degrees. So I, I feel yeah. that school should be what you need. Like they teach you what you need. I don't know. I don't know how to explain so it. Yeah, like more of a technical thing and not focus on all these, you know, core yeah. uh, classes that, to a certain extent, are not really applied to the job. Is kind of what I'm getting. Here. Yeah, I feel they should reevaluate how they do their teachings and teach you more on hand. Like, and mm -hmm. I mean, I feel personally that technical school should be paid way more than I agree college with that. universities because yeah. I feel they get way more hands on experience. Yeah, so it, here's the thing that I see it um, first of all, it's only applied to government jobs right now. So, if it starts working, you know, if they start seeing that they're able to hire better people and have better results, and you know not necessarily have to pay someone who came from a university, it could be someone from a technical side or someone with no experience, mm -hmm. but they can, you know, really kick butt at their, at their uh, role. Um, if this gets carried over to private companies, I think that's when it's going to make the, the, you know, the big impact on, yeah. on schools. Um, now, good thing, the good things are going to be like, okay, um, people won't have to invest as much or they won't have to go to classes or courses that, don't really benefit them as much um, and you know they'll be able to apply you know the actual technical and be more hands-on and mm -hmm. be better at it and I think that's gonna be a big plus now the negative side is these core classes are considered essential or core fundamentals mm -hmm. um, because they're you know part of your culture or because you don't want to lose the history of the state so plus um, what's gonna happen when you know they realize that people are not taking these courses, they don't need them anymore. What's gonna happen to all these staff that are, you know, are focused on that, or people that have this degree, you know, in history, whatever, like it's gonna be much more difficult for them to find a job, because to, I mean, being realistic, a lot of philosophers and historians end up being in a university. Mm -hmm. You'll find them there, so. It's a, it's a good thing, technical-wise. Yeah. I feel in the other, um, more, linguistics kind of thing it's gonna have a negative impact yeah um and i think that's pretty much it for my note so with that being said um thank you everybody for uh, watching another episode if you guys liked it click the like button yep. uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the bell to get notifications and we will see you in the next episode yep and have a happy fourth of july um yes. stay home safe follow the guidelines and yep see you next week yep see you bye